A stalwart youth sat at the gates of his city one night and gazed away into the distance. For the very next day he meant to make his way into the world. Between his feet a small rat emerged. The rat looked to and fro and thought himself safe. When an owl swept down and snatched the rat up into its fierce claws. The rat squealed for help. The youth, hearing the cries, picked up a stone and threw it at the owl, which dropped the rat in fright. The rat pledged his undying gratitude. The youth accepted this pledge with good nature, but thought little of it, for really he was not fond of rats, but had reacted instinctively to cries of pain. The next day the youth set off down the road and never returned to the city again. Later that week, on a night much the same, a young ne'er-do-well sat in that very spot and grumbled with dissatisfaction. The rat stuck out his head and saw this grumpy rap scallion, and because humans look as alike as peas to beasts and birds, the rat thought this must be the very youth to whom his life was due. Do not groan, young master, cried the joyful rat. Tell me your troubles, and let them trouble you no more. Ugh, said the rascal. What an ugly, hideous rat. My appearance may be humble, said the rat, swallowing this insult, but my heart is all the more steadfast. Give me a chance, and perhaps one day you will honor my devotion. Having nothing to lose, the wicked boy told of his woe, how he loved a baker's pretty daughter, but had no chance to win her, for she was pledged to a rich brute of a blacksmith. Fear not, and wait here, said the rat, and he slipped away to the home of a scholar, where he'd overheard talk of a poem, a poem so exquisite that all who read it can think of nothing else for the rest of their happy lives. He tore the poem from its compendium and rolled it into a scroll. Take this, young master. Take it to your rival and tell him it is a gift from his bride-to-be. When the blacksmith read the poem, his eyes brimmed over with tears and his face lit up with inexpressible joy and sorrow. The words so resounded in his mind that he could neither eat nor drink nor sleep and in a week he was dead. At once the rascal ran to the baker's daughter and told her of his love. Ugh, said the baker's daughter. Who is this ugly, hideous boy? And he's poor besides. Send him away. The young rogue went away, dejected. But it didn't matter, for soon he was arrested for his scurrilous petty crimes and thrown in prison, never to be released. The rat Though hurt that the youth never returned to thank him, knew that the true greatness of a good deed is only known in the doer's heart, and so went to his grave with the full satisfaction of a debt repaid.